St. Ignatius and Rules for Thinking with the Church The following rules should be observed to foster the true attitude of mind we ought to have in the church militant. Church is divided into three parts. The church triumphant, the saints, church militant, we who are living the soldiers of Christ, fighting for our salvation, the salvation of others, and the church suffering to be the souls in purgatory. Altogether, there are 18 rules. Uh, today we're going to be explaining the eighth rule. The eighth rule is this. Nasus says we ought to praise not only the building and adornment of churches, but also images and veneration of them according to the subject they represent. You see, the St. Ignatius living at the time of the Protestant Reformation, at the time of the Protestant Reformation, we had what was called the Counter-Reformation, which would be the Council of Trent. And the Catechism of the Council of Trent would be published. One of the things that the Protestants rejected was the use of images painting statues. And here Ignatius, being a faithful son of Holy Mother Church, says we ought to praise not only the buildings and adornment of churches, but also the images and veneration of them according to the subject they represent. One of the best ways to understand this would be the following. The image, we do not adore the image. That would be wrong, because the image is a material structure that was made by man. But what we do is we honor, we love that which the image represents. So if we see Jesus on the cross, we honor and love the suffering that Christ went through for you and for me. If we see an image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we honor Jesus Christ, who is meek and humble of heart. If we see an image of Divine Mercy, we honor the mercy, and we trust in His mercy, as is taught in St. Faustina's diary. We see an image of Mary, painting a statue of Mary. We don't adore the image, but we love what, what it represents. Mary's great love and tenderness for us. So we do not adore or worship the images, but we love what the image represents.